Aleha. Welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy Kachita. Let's go see what activities took place in the past week that was organized by some of the meditation centers all around the world, giving the foreigners the opportunity to come together to learn Tamma and practice meditation. On Wednesday, September 8, 2016, Venerable Bulin Tita Gusalo, the director of the Middle Way Meditation Institute, Iloilo, went to give a lecture to over 200 students at the Iloilo Science and Technology New University, Miyagao Campus in Philippines. The topic was Stillness, the Art of Inner Teaching. This was made possible by the cooperation between Helen Montano and the Middleway Meditation Institute, Iloilo. The lecture started off with watching a video from the first Light of Peace event that was held in Miyagao a couple of years back. Many of the students who attended this lecture were part of the success of the event, so it was great to watch a recap of their success and history they made in Miyagao in promoting world peace through inner peace. After watching the video, the teaching monk led everyone in meditation before giving the lecture about stillness. He stated that good teachers and professors must rely on their inner stillness. A good teacher not only teaches kids to be book smart, but they also have to teach them how to be good people in society by abiding to the universal goodness. From this activity, the participants had good meditation experiences because they were able to still their minds and felt happiness from within. They gained new knowledge from the lecture and also received certificates for coming to be a part of this activity as well. On September 9th, 2016, Prakul Samut Jalin Wanno and the representatives of Prateb Yamahabuni offered 12,180,000 Burmese kayat to help renovate and restore the Sitiya and other Buddhist locations that were damaged by the earthquake that took place in Mandalay, Myanmar. The Prime Minister of Mandalay received the donations from the Dhammakaya Foundation. The Prime Minister thanked Prateb Yamahamuni for his kindness and hopes to work together in the future to restore Buddhism in both Thailand and Myanmar. On Saturday, September 10, 2016, Wapatamagai, Minnesota took part in the Aseo Parade as part of the 40th anniversary Aseo Lions Roar Days in downtown Aseo, Minnesota. Wapatamagai, Minnesota welcomed many interested locals into their new temple where there was a display regarding the history of Wapatamagai, the Samma Alahang program, and an open meditation class for those who were interested. Throughout the day, there were many locals who were interested in visiting the temple and learning about the temple, its activities organized by the temple, and also meditation. The Thai Buddhist Meditation Center in Japan arranged a meditation class for beginners on Saturday, September 10, 2016, with the teaching monk being Venerable Tanawut Tisolo. It interested many Japanese participants who wanted to try meditation. The teaching monk introduced some meditation techniques for better results and showed that these techniques were not too difficult and could be applied in their daily lives. Then the teaching monk led them to meditate for 30 minutes so that they were calm and peaceful. Finally, they had Dhamma talk together before going home happily. Also on September 10, 2016, the Thai Buddhist Meditation Center in Tokyo, Japan arranged a meditation class and taught Dhamma in Japanese on the topic of even when you are in trouble, you can still make yourself happy. By Praku Palatsune Chalapinyo. The teaching monk explained that it is common for people to encounter something that can make them happy or sad. The key is how to keep yourself calm when you encounter them. When you keep calm, your mind is more difficult to wander. Keeping calm starts with good thinking, good speaking, and good doing. The more positive thinking you have, the happier you will be and the real inner peace generator is meditation. After the sermon, the teaching monk led them to meditate together. The Japanese participants practiced meditation together where they gradually still their minds at the center of their body and purify their minds for 30 minutes. 
Finally, they had Dhamma talk before going home. On Sunday, September 11, 2016, Wapatamagai, Scotland organized a meditation session for locals from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. local time, where there were about 28 people that participated in this session. The session started off with a local volunteer leading everyone in stretching exercises, followed by the teaching monk giving a dumbass sermon about the techniques of meditation for beginners by relaxing both the body and mind. After the sermon, everyone got to meditate together. The teaching monk got to explain to the participants about the foundations of Buddhism and answered any questions that anyone had pertaining to meditation and Buddhism. Wapatamagai Tokyo, Japan arranged a Thai cultural exchange for the Japanese locals on Sunday, September 11, 2016. The temple holds this activity every second Sunday of the month. The ceremony started at 10.30 a.m. local time with the ceremony to request precepts, pledging the verse to offer midday meals to the monks, and offering alms and meals to the monks. Lastly, the late morning ended with a meditation session. After lunch, Ms. Jandula Nomoto taught everyone how to make taptim gob, which is a kind of classic Thai dessert, and let every Japanese participant taste it and allow them to bring some back home. This activity impressed all the participants and made them very happy to be a part of it. On the evening of Sunday, September 11, 2016, Wapatamagai Taipei organized a Thai and Buddhism class for locals where there were 12 people that came to take part in this class. The teaching monk kindly taught them the technique of learning Thai language and the history of the Thai language and Thai gestures. The participants learned about the Thai culture, how to why, and how to greet in Thai. Everyone cooperated together in all the activities and were happy about learning Thai. On Wednesday, September 14, 2016, 15 locals came to practice meditation at the Meditation Center of Alabama in Mobile, Alabama that was led by Venerable Praweed via Skype. Everyone was happy to take part in this weekly meditation class and went home feeling happy and relaxed. Also on Wednesday, September 14, 2016, the Meditation Center of Chicago also organized their weekly meditation class for locals. For this class, there were 30 people that came to learn and practice meditation together. The Dhammakaya Meditation Center in Chicago will be organizing a meditation retreat on October 15, 2016 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, please call 773-680-0313. The Dhammakai International Meditation Center in Azusa, California will be organizing a meditation retreat on September 24, 2016 from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, please call 626-334-2160. The Dhammakaya Meditation Center in Boston will be organizing a meditation retreat on September 24, 2016 from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. For more information, please call 410-972-9589. I would like to rejoice in the merits of everyone who took part in these activities. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Prathep Yai Mahamuni, Lompal Tamat the abbot of Wapatamagai and the president of the Dhammakaya Foundation. Harvesting Happiness Every session of meditation should add to our happiness, encouraging us to meditate further next time around. This was said on May 8th, 1996. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for this week. Don't forget to follow the World Peace News at www.dhammakayapost.org or via the Facebook fan page at Dhammakaya Post. Stay tuned here next week for more activities taking place at some of the meditation centers worldwide where foreigners will be able to come and practice meditation. And I will see you again next week. Sodiha.